Hi guys, we're back. Now this is part two. Now what we're going to do with this is I felt we had to break it down because it was I think it would have been too much for you to take in on one shot. Okay, so basically we create the landing page. All right, now we need to create a form of capturing the email address. Now there's two ways you can do that and I'm going to show you straight away how we're going to do this guys. Okay, so we're going to bring this back down again. Okay, so you can see that this is what we were working on. So let's go back to our cheetah. Okay, so here we go. So we've we've done all this, okay? So what we need to do now is we need to create a button which we can use, which can then be directed to a landing page, all right? If we want to use an alternative one, or we can actually um, integrate our own email address. Now, the way to do this, first of all, is if you're using Builderall or any other form is you normally have to set up a list so if we wanted to use Aweber we could set up our Aweber account all right and then have a list and then just put that link in with our Builderall account which is what I'm using all right or if it's any other one whether it's Wix whether it's WordPress you've you still got to go through the same process or any other third party uh, um, website building all right so I'm trying to cover all aspects here so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back into my cheetah, okay? And in fact, what I am going to do is I'm going to go back to my phone. I'm going to click on build a roll. Now, if I'm going too fast, guys, all you need to do is just slow it down, rewind it, and then you can do it all over again. Now, I'm lucky my build a roll has got a built in mailing box, so I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to go for that, okay? So I'm going to click on there. I'm going to open up my mailing box. And I'm now going to set up uh, another list. So you can see I've got 131 campaigns in here, guys. Okay, so I'm going to click on the list. And I'm going to click on the lists. It's going to open up my lists. And these are all my lists here I've got, guys. Okay, so I've got loads and loads of bits and bobs running on here just to show you. So you can see I've got quite a few things running on here. And a lot of these are experimental. So I'm going to click on here, create new list. So we're going to click on that. And then it's now asking me for my list name. So you want to try, if you can, to keep it. So I'm, I'm just going to borrow this bit here. It's going to fall across to there, and then I'm going to copy that because I only want that little bit there, and it, I won't get the spelling mistake wrong then. So that's why I was using that. So we're now going back into my list, which is this one, and I'm now going to pop this in here, paste. All right. I'm also going to put it in my display name, it's the same, there. And then I'm, it's asking me for a description. Now I could cheat, I could go up here and I could scroll through and just see if there's anything that I can look, anything I can use. So I'm going to use this one here just for now, copy. And what you should really do is you should really open up a text document first if you're going to copy and paste because it's formatted. Right mouse click, paste it, then copy it back. All right, so there's nothing formatted in the text. Otherwise, it could be directions, redirects or anything. So it's wise to do that. And now go back into my mailing box, right mouse click and paste. And I know that in this actual lettering, the text is all clean. Okay, so I've got nothing to worry about. Now tags, um, I could have make money online, digital marketing, passive income of buyers. So we're going to click on that. So I've just got my tags in there. By law now, because of the GDPRS, you have to have a double opt-in. So the idea of double opt-in is that when this goes out to someone, someone has to click on it to say that they're happy for me to uh, be able to email them again. And that's what a double opt-in is. So you have to leave all that because it all has to be the same. So we're going to click on next. And you can see that this is what I've created. So now it's asking me a list of custom fields. So I like to collect the email field and the first name because I think it's personal. Okay. Now, I can put in some GDPRS, agreed to terms and website use, which ain't a bad thing to do. So um, if I want to do that, I can do that. And this is just a way of covering myself, okay? So I'm going to put that in there just to cover myself. 
And then it's asking me now email label, which is obviously email, etc. So I'm now going to hit save changes. Again, yours may differ slightly because you're going to be on a different one. And you can see now that this is all set up. Your form has been successfully saved. So this is up and running. Now, the reason why I've done that is because now I go to my next stage, which is this. So what I can do now is I can now add in my mailing so what I'm click on add elements return because I want to go back to the main menu and I'm now looking down here so we're going to scroll through until I find email marketing form which is this one here and now what I need to do now is I need to choose what one I want so let's see I've got a blue background red now I can I can configure and change any of these that I like all right so what I could do, let's go for this one here. So basically I just left mouse click and drag that across. Move that to about there and let go. And what it's going to do is when I connect it to my mailing boss or if you connect it to your autoresponder or you connect it to your web address, because this build role is all mixed together, it's so much easier for me to connect. See, so I can connect it to any of these, but ideally whenever you do a landing page or a website always make sure that you give it its own identical um, mailing point list okay because otherwise if you have two running the same time you can have one that counts itself out and you could have all sorts of problems so it's always wise just to have one list all the time so I'm going to use this one that I've just created and now save and you should see that it should have three things. It should have the email, it should have the name, and it should have my agreed to terms policy. And you can see this here. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this up like that. I want to center it as well. So if I wait till that green light comes up, and that don't look too bad. That's not bad for a landing page, is it? So there we go. So now um, I want it to be directed. So when someone clicks on this, is then going to direct itself to my page okay so how do you do that well basically what you do is you click on uh, yeah click on click on this is how I do it click on this link and I can set my link here all right so this one here will show me what list I'm in which I've already set up this one here is ed edit element so say for instance I wanted to add um, a bit of animation I can make this box jump around a bit so let's go into animation so let's click on effect and let's do a let's see what should we go for rubber band effect okay so you see this one here is showing you what it's going to do and I want to create infinite so it's going to do that all the time and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save because remember I told you about saving it's always best to save and save again if not sure just to be on the safe side of it you can do all that work and then lose it all right and if i want to go to the website it's now going to show you what it looks on the website that's pretty cool that's no problem there that looks all right that looks like that's going to work so i've got my agree button register button so i'm now going to click off that i'm now going to close this i'm now going to go back to my thing here all right I'm now going to click on set the link. So what will happen now is as soon as someone obviously enters their email address, their name, and obviously agrees to the terms of use and privacy policy, okay, which is the GDPRS regulations, which is already built into Buildable, so you don't have to worry, it's all done for you. It will then take you to subscribe in pending. Now, subscribe in pending could be two things. You could have a form built where you could have wait please make sure that you whitelist this email and i'll give you extra bonuses that's a really good idea to set that up okay because then what it does then is it makes sure that you're not going to go into the spam folder every time something goes out like that and you can introduce a bonus so people then are quite more interested in doing that okay so that's the first thing that you can do the other thing is you could just give them the link all right so what we can do is where I've put the link in, which is here. This is the link, all right, which is my Perpetual 365. So we're going to copy this, copy that. Now, I don't need to worry about the one which I've built 
in here. Remember I showed you the link on the shortener, which is this one here. I could use this one here if I want to. It's not gonna make any difference because I'm already cloaking mine because it's inside my actual landing page. So it's not gonna be a problem, all right? So if I go back to this and I'm going to URL copy paste, there's my link there and now I'm going to hit select. So subscribe pending, they're going to go to this. I'm now going to put subscribe confirm and I'm going to do that as well. Paste and then hit select and then I'm going to hit save. Now what's going to happen now guys is as soon as someone puts their email address, the first name and then agrees to the terms and condition, it's then going to allow them access. And then well, I'm just going to change this because I don't quite like the look of that. So we're going to click on there and we're going to click on here. And then I'm going to change the headline. I'm just going to change that. So let's put 365 your income now. All right. And we're just going to use it like that. Now, if I wanted to, I could change these colors so they're the same. And there's a lot of tools you can use. One of them is called this one up here, which is called Color Pick, which is basically a Chrome extension that you can download. And basically, you click on that. And what it should do is it should allow me access to... Let's go back to that. That's obviously not allowing me to grab that. Let's try that again. Color Pick. Color picker, right, and then what we're going to do is we want to grab this here, okay? That's that's the color, or I can use this color here, depending on what color I want to do. So I could make purple if I want to make that purple. So basically, if I click on here, all right, so I'm inside this area, and I'm just going to close the heading down. In fact, I need the heading open, and then I'm going to let's go back here again click on there and that's going to give me access to this bit here and then general colors and you'll see here that this is the change so if I click on this link here and go for purple and I've changed this purple straight away see and uh, that would do I think that's okay I think we'll leave it like that I can have a bit of animation if I want so if I click on there um, I could put effect I can have it so it fades in I can create infinite Know what that's doing, so let's have that. There we go. So that was zap in, so let's hit save. That's fine. And what it's done is that's actually published it now as well. So this is my publishing thing here. So if we copy this, copy that, and we can put that back into our page that we've got here paste and we can save that okay guys so i've saved that bit there just so i've got that okay we're going to go to website and you can see here that i've created this sort of effect here now there's two things which would drive me insane about this is you can't actually add, enter your email because it's constant so i need to make this so it just does it once and then stops otherwise I'm never going to be able to get access to it to be able to put my email address in. So you can see that that's a bit of a, a flaw which I've created myself. All right, It's not software, it's what I've created myself. So we're going to take infinite off. And what it's going to do is when I hover over it, it's just going to do that thing. So I'm going to have it so it only does it once. All right. So once I've done that, I'm now going to hit save again. That's fine. So then what it should do now, all right, is when we go to the website, it should just do it once, now stop. And now I can enter my email, which we're just gonna use this for demonstration purposes. Click on agree to terms and conditions and enter 365 income. Now it's gonna come up with this because I said to you before that this is just a virus protection thing. So you just hit temporary. 
but you'll find that it might not do it anywhere else. It's just a virusy thing. So how ordinary people are manipulating this secret algorithm. And you can see that we're straight in, we've directed someone to this page, okay? Now I'm only using this as a demonstration purpose anyway. So, you know, there's no reason why, you know, you could always change change it to another link. So if we go back into my click funnels here, okay? And then we could try and find something that's very similar, like click wealth system. If we click on promote, grab that link. And you'll see how easy it is because now we've created that first landing page, you could easily manipulate this to another um, another thing quite easily. So I'm, I'm only just demonstrating this to you quickly, but we just click on here and we would now change subscribe pending I'm going to change this to that one and I'm just going to change this one as well to that one and select now save and then what we'll do now I'm going to save it again and then what it will do is it will go through the whole process again that's fine it's now publishing it so it will be seen online I've still got my this will be the same by the way all I've done is I've changed the HTML code of where it, I want it to direct to. So we click on go to website. So you can see it straight away. So I just need to put this in here, click agree and then enter. And it's going to open up a completely different site. Or should do. That's interesting. So that's opened up a completely different one. And luckily it didn't have any problem with that one either, which was interesting. So that's how that works okay guys so that's basically how you do a landing page that's a one page all right there are lots and lots of other things that you can use which really really work well there's one here guys which i use which is called page dynamo and i use this and you can see that i've got quite a lot of conversions that are running on here this is a little bit more upbeat if you like if we click on this preview this will give you a demo so you get that and then you get that and then obviously you put this in there's Iron Man enter and then this will take you to my alternative traffic methods here you see guys which is basically my product that I am actually selling and you can see that I've had quite a good conversion rate on this so this is quite cool and you see look my conversion rate is 39.97 which is very good. It's nearly 40% out of 712 people. So your unique views really is this one here where they're actually looking. So that's 40% out of six, 693 people and it's 277 people that are converted. So that's really good. That's where people have actually gone to that page and looked at it. So that's really cool. 40% uh, is very, very good for that sort of thing. So we're going to go back into this again. We're going to close that down. So that is it, guys. That is how you make um, a actual landing page. And you will be able to do that for any... This is just a basic thing, okay? Um, and hopefully this is going to help you. It's going to give you an idea of what you're looking at, etc. Uh, until my next reviews or my bonuses or my training, I wish you all the best and catch you later. Thanks. Bye now.